Amy at 804 Sycamore. And for this project, I wanted to create something for our bathtub. This is the largest tub in the house. It's in the primary bathroom. And honestly, I pretty much use it for towel storage. When I get towels out of the dryer, we all kind of just dump them here until we can get around to folding them. And let's be honest, that rarely happens. We use them as fast as we uh, clean them. So I was thinking, let's get some use out of this tub. I've already decorated around it and I really feel like it's a nice, tranquil, relaxing spot for a bath. And we have three girls in our house and I think we all would enjoy a bath once in a while. So I'm going to show you how I created a bathtub tray to fit along the, uh, the middle of the tub. I mean, it can slide back and forth wherever you want it to go but you can customize the fit for your tub and it couldn't be any easier and it's very affordable. So um, please hit the like button and subscribe if you like DIY decorating and let's get going. Okay guys, first step is measuring the width of your tub. I measured the fiberglass part and then I added a little bit of length because I want some hangover. And I just used this piece of scrap sandy plywood. It's about half an inch thick. Um, measured, marked it, drew my line, and, and I just decided to kind of eye it. So I clamped it down and then used my DeWalt circular saw to go ahead and eye that straight edge. I wasn't worried about it being perfect, but um, you do want it straight because you're going to add a border later on. Go ahead and sand off any rough edges, and then at this point I just decided to um, sand a smooth surface, so I used 220. The wood was already pretty smooth and I'm going to um, sand it after staining and stuff. So um, give it a, a nice once over, remove any rough spots. So now that my main board is cut, now I'm gonna measure and um, mark and cut everything else. So the feet underneath are eight inches long and then my um, phone stand is about four inches long and so um, you'll want to cut your square dowels or whatever edging you use. You'll want to measure and cut that for all four sides of the tray. You'll want to measure the width of the tray to cut the feet underneath. And I just use this piece of half, it's, I guess it's a quarter inch thick uh, square dowel. I had it on hand. I thought it would make a nice little foot for underneath. Cut that about half an inch shorter so that there's no hanging off. It's just tucked under there, nice little detail. Um, helps it to set over the fiberglass tub really nicely. And then I used um, more half inch dowel to be the front of my cell phone stand, and then um, a one by two for the back. So I decided to place it a little bit off center. It wasn't, it didn't, matter that much to me exactly where my um, phone stand was placed but I did want to make sure that they were it was um, square that it was evenly placed and so I took a piece of scrap one by two um, I'm going to drill two holes from underneath and so um, when you're doing this make sure your top surface is flipped and so you're working from the bottom you can see my little foot is already glued and nailed into the board and I marked my spots and I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill. Now I went ahead and added a countersink drill bit because when I screw this in I don't want any screw heads scratching me or scratching my tub so I went ahead and used a countersink um, and I went as deep as I needed to go for the screws that I ha had on hand. Now I happen to have some round top screws. Um, if you have flat head, great. Just make sure you do the countersink so you don't have metal that can possibly scratch your tub. So I just um, screwed in a few, popped out the tip there so that I can line up, um, as you can see, the back of my stand. Um, just make sure that it's level, it's square, it's in the location you want it. Like I said, I placed mine um, somewhat in the center. I wasn't worried about it being absolutely perfectly centered on the board. Um, but once it's set, add some wood glue, 
press it in and then go ahead and attach your screws. Now it could move around a little bit so um, before you do both screws you can use a level just make sure that it's set ready to go and then um, go ahead and attach it and it's really the same step for the front of the stand just go ahead and add your screw get a little bit of pop out so that you can see where it's going to be um, add, and I it took me a second to find the best side to show for the dowel you know make sure that you're not showing um, a roughed up edge or whatever um, when you're attaching this um, again I use that spacer board to make sure that it was perfectly spaced and not crooked or something um, and then I had to take a moment to readjust my boards um, to make sure that there was support underneath that shorter stand and so um, it really helps to have scrap wood for this part I just kind of made sure that that stair step was supported so that when I add my screw no problems um, as you can see I am using probably one and a quarter inch long Craig screws um, just the right length for this project um, and they go in real smooth so now that the feet are on now that my stand is on it's time to add my decorative edge nothing can roll off it just adds a nice detail it covers the raw plywood um, add a bit of wood glue and then I just kind of felt it with my fingers um, I used brad nails to make you know that were the correct length and so um, I like to tack one side tack the other side and then go ahead and do the rest in the middle and as you can see um, this is a fun project for kids to help. The brad nail gun is pretty heavy, so I held the weight of it while my little helper, Quinn, um, went ahead and added more nails for me. And it's, it's a loud tool, but she loved it. She thought it was so much fun, and, and now she's excited to help with some other projects too. So this could be a great Mother's Day present or, um, you know, a new mom expecting um, bath time can be very relaxing after having a baby. Um, any bath lover would love this gift. So I went ahead and stained it with Roven Dwell's farmhouse colored stain. Um, I didn't do my whitewash finish. I just wanted to bring in a little more warmth to the bathroom, but I did add two coats of matte polyurethane, and this will help keep it waterproof and last for many years. So my favorite thing to do when taking a bath is to have a nice cup of tea and just um, create a nice relaxing ambiance. Of course, if the weather's cooler, I like iced tea, um, but it's still pretty chilly um, at the end of this winter. So hot tea, a nice candle, some bath salts, and um, a good book. So anyways, I hope you are inspired to build your own bathtub tray. You can see just how easy it is, how customizable it is, um, and it really makes a great gift to keep for yourself or to give away. So if you like this video, I would love it if you left a thumbs up. And if you like DIY and decorating, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching.